Look, we've got company. Use one of these lately. Landline telephones. Turns out more and more of us are ditching them. And those of us that do have one in the home aren't using it for calls and we're not picking them up at all. No, 80% of all UK households still actually have a landline. That's 22 million connections. But it is down a lot from a peak at the turn of the century when 95% of us had one. Well, are we still using them for calls? Well, for many of us, they're just necessary to get broadband. In fact, a quarter of those homes that do have a landline don't have a handset attached to them, they just have the line. On average, we spend 35 minutes a week talking on the blur, and that increases for older people. Uh, what's more? Uh, more than a fifth of us actually avoid answering them altogether in order to avoid nuisance calls. Oh, no. You get it. Hello? Oh, it's not that one. Hello? 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 It's my mum. Yeah, okay. uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Uh, right, we'll leave him to that. No. Take a look back at really? the golden age of the landline. Really? The first receiver consisted of a bar of iron and wire. A rather crude affair with definite limitations. Definite limitations aside, the growth of the telephone was astronomic. Just 50 years after Alexander Graham Bell's invention, there were more than one and a half million phone stations across the UK. Less popular, though, was his suggestion we answer calls with ahoy, instead of... Hello? Hello? Operator? By the time of the Second World War, so many people were dialing up, they had to be warned not to block the lines from the war effort. I told this man I'd never seen such stuff. <laughs> Development of so-called trunk lines and exchanges allowed operators to connect people and royalty more easily across the country. This is the Queen speaking from Bristol. I'm always interested in any development which brings my people closer together. Answering machines revolutionise the home phone experience. Mr Brown is not at home, but will you please leave a message? Speak slowly. Speak now. But the exchanges remained. Anthony? Oh, congratulations on your exam results. Grandma, I failed. And a catch up on the blower became part of popular culture. Anything else? And sociology. An ology? It gets an ology and it says it's failed. You get an ology, you're a scientist. Despite push button and cordless models, we've been hanging up on the home handset since a landline peak at the turn of the millennium. But the question now. Will they ever be disconnected for good? Uh huh. No, mum, 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 mum. I've got to go. I'm at work. No, no, I'm at work. Uh, yeah, I'm on the TV. Okay, all right. I'll see you later. Okay, I love you. Bye, 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 bye. Everything all right there? All fine. Normal call to my mum. <laughs> Golden age of the landline. We saw, didn't we? Um, it might be gone. Do you think the handset still has a future? Are you hanging up on it? Or do you miss the operator? Did you dread the phone ringing, particularly at work? It's not very long, that. Were people smaller, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> was it like 400 no, years ago? It's really short. <laughs> Maybe it's just I'm really tall. Maybe you have. I think these days, you don't need to worry, they're usually cordless. That's true. Usually. Um, get in touch, let us know. Um, you could even call. Use any of these. Call. Yeah, even call. Get in touch. Um, <laughs>